Hey there, no job nation. It's Nick Moore, aka Tunelic the Dyslexic Lunatic, here with your fun fact of the day. You've obviously heard about the 47 Republican senators who uh, recently sent a letter to Iran telling them that no matter what agreements that Obama would make with Iran, uh, that these that the Republicans would make sure that it didn't happen, or if it did get passed, that the next administration would would eliminate with a stroke of a pen and change the uh, conditions and circumstances of it. A lot of you have said uh, that this smacks of treason. Some of you have said sedition, and a lot of you have also picked up on the Logan Act. And here's why it's going to be very hard to get any of those three to work. You see, treason is defined by the United States Constitution as levying war against the United States or aiding and abetting uh, an, en a, uh, an enemy of the, of the United States against it. Well, that's the problem. Um, I saw a letter from, uh, from Senator Tim Cotton, and I'm sure a lot of you did too, and unfortunately, there was no aid offered. Nothing was offered to benefit the Iranians for, for walking away from this deal. So, I mean, the only thing that could be seen is inciting war, inciting a fight, picking a fight with the Iranians to start war against us, which theoretically could call, could be uh, living the charge of sedition. The Sedition Act of 1798 uh, said that um, basically sedition would be defined as inciting rebellion or discontent against the United States government. Uh, a couple problems with that too. The Sedition Act of 1798 expired in March 3rd of 1801, and if it was still in effect, maybe, possibly, Section 1 and Section 2 would apply. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. It doesn't apply at this point, and, um, sedition is normally reserved for internal matters. Like, if you or I, in America, were to incite rebellion or discontent against the United States government, not the Iranians. The Iranians are foreign. So, that also brings us to the Logan Act. The Logan Act is basically um, nego uh, where a civilian uh, a person of the United States negotiates with foreign governor governments um, on the behalf of the United States. This does not apply because the senators are elected officials. And as such, they are the U.S. government. There is no representing yourself if you are yourself. So, where does this leave us? Well, I don't really know. But, if this were a board of directors, at a corporation or an organization that was not uh, Congress or the White or any of the three judicial any of the three branches of government, I would say there'd be a vote being being called in, in for um, removal of office for uh, basically working against the organization. That's the best suggestion I can make. Toodles. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this stinks. Boing.